Hi everyone and welcome back to the second half of my uh, teapot and cup and saucer video. Um, it was much easier, it's much easier to do this one and faster. So let's start with the pieces. You should have, this is your bottom of your saucer. This is um, the first layer, one layer of your saucer. It'll be like this. And here's the overlay for your saucer. Okay. Then we have the, the cup. And here are your four base pieces. You, this, you fold them in half. And these are the overlays. You have eight pieces. And this is your bottom. You have two bottoms, one inside, one outside. Okay, so let's get started with the cup. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the handles. We're gonna double the handles, okay? And I'll show you that. Let's first we're going to fold on all the score lines. All four pieces. For your bottom as there's a little I don't know if you can see it, there's a little notch in here. Can you see that? I can't see that, but the fold line falls right here. So when you fold it, fold it so the two sides so it's when you fold it, it's straight across. Because, I don't know about you, but I don't like daylight at the bottom of my, my cup. So we're gonna fold it as best we can this way, okay? So you're gonna fold all four pieces. You gotta forgive me if I'm not in the camera because you know, I'm a real amateur at this. And I really don't like talking to myself, but you know, I have to do it. This is for you guys. Anyway. And if you took any of my classes, you know this is how I am anyway. I'm not super organized. Now this time, you can do your overlays before you put all your pieces together so that now you can see them. And they're easier because they're not like standing up and on the side and everything. So let's go ahead and do that. Center it as best you can in each section and you can you can um, you know like I'm missing two of them oh there they are you can you know like the patterns don't all go together so maybe you want to put this one here and then one that doesn't have any any shine to it here, one that has a lot of shine to it here, you know, something like that. There's no specific place, no specific way for you to place them. Put them any way you want. These, by the way, are Prima papers very pretty papers. Of course they're in small pieces but they're still very pretty. All my kits will be made from Prima papers. 
Don't forget there's a white set too. And I'll, I'll have a sample of that a little later on. If you check out my Instagram and Facebook, uh, you'll see the samples. Not now though. <laughs> I didn't make them all yet. If you have any questions, you may text me or call me, email me, because I really like for your projects to come out and I don't want you frustrated. That's not my purpose. I want everybody's project. To be nice and for you guys to be satisfied. That makes me happy. When you like the project. Okay, so we got them all down. Like now you join them together. Tab. Tab, no tab. That's how I I taught my classes a long time ago. Tab, no tab. Match them. Try not to go over your fold line. If you have a a black project it is hard to see Pretty fan, huh? This one doesn't have this, doesn't use as much glue as the, the teapot. The teapot had a lot of glue, a lot of pieces. Match it up as best you can because you want you kind of want all these fold lines to be in the same place. When you when I was talking about see daylight, when you fold this down, you want your edges to be all covered. But sometimes you see these corners are exposed and then you see daylight inside. Makes it look like you have a in your cup. Okay? Now you fold all your tabs in. Shape it nicely. You have 
two of your bottoms. Let's do two bottoms here. Try and shape this bottom to the side. Don't glue it yet. Don't glue it yet. Okay. So you got that shape. Now you're going to put it down and you're going to put glue on this one and then you're going to put it in. There's a, you can see some um, embossed edges, so put the embossed edge, the embossed edges right side up. And just put glue on the edges because, you know, you only have little tabs inside. You don't have anything in the middle anyway. So you're going to drop that in and move it so that your points all match each other. Push in on the top. So all your angles match each other. All your little corner, all your points, I should say. No daylight. No daylight. Okay. Press that all down real nicely. Turn that around, turn it around, and have, now you put your glue on your edges here. Now you can put glue in the middle and line them up. basic cup. No deal. Okay. So now we're going to take, you have four pieces of the handle. And you can see somewhere uh, one side has the score lines, those are the outside. So you're gonna put two outsides together. I'm sorry, you're gonna put the two wrong sides together. Okay. So you're gonna have, in other words, you'll have two right sides on each side and then the same for the other side. Two right sides together. Two wrong sides together. Getting old sucks, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. Sometimes it's really hard. Sometimes the words don't even come out of my mouth. So you have to forgive me for not getting it out of my mouth. Maybe I'm going to have Alzheimer's pretty soon. Okay. Piece those together. I'll 
losing one should say not peace peace is elementary so now whatever side you put on it's all good right all the right sides are showing so now you're gonna put these two together but first fold them out your edges there's little score lines right on the top there on, on each edge on each little curve fold them out and fold the other one out and they are going to go opposite like this so you're gonna have like a circle here and a circle here okay can you see that so now we're going to glue just the middles as even as possible then you just you just glue it to one side it doesn't matter which panel you do it to find one that's not a decorative that you kind of wouldn't mind not seeing and just glue it right on there right center it right on on the panel Your handle looks straight. Oops, sorry. Handle looks straight. Once the glue dries, you can wiggle it around. Okay, so let that dry. Now you're going to make your saucer. First thing we want to do is we want to put these two together the two overlays um, we're going to overlap two on one side two two little scallops like this and then one on the other side and we're we're gonna curve it. Now you can curve it before you, let's curve it before we start to glue it. You run your, kind of run it, curve it out, bend it, shape it. Shape it with um, the right side showing up because it's going to go on this like this. This is your bottom. Okay. So then you bend it, roll it through your fingers, bend it out. And then we can glue it. Two on one side, one on the other side. Okay.
press that glue in because we're working with um, curved items. They tend to fall off. Okay, one, and the other one is one, one little scallop. I don't know how many of you have a tool that can make flowers and and leaves but if you have a tool like this you just roll it like this over your bottom this is your bottom piece and it has a whole bunch of slits here you're going you want to roll this to make it um, come up. The easiest way is just roll it through your fingers. But professionals do this, you know, they roll it, they roll it like this. Because it's, it's more even if you roll it up. But it takes longer, so for my purpose, I just roll it up with my fingers. So they kind of flip up. But you have to make them kind of roll into a, a cup shape. You want to make it like a cup shape. You know, like your eyeglass. Eyeglass. a lot faster. Anyway, that's what they teach you in the video. From Tana. Tanik, however, doesn't show the overlays. Okay. So now you, what you're going to do, that's all you're going to do is you're going to cover this. Make sure all your um, little slits, cut slits are not showing and you're going to glue it to the back of this overlay here, this top section. So we put some glue, I would put the glue on here because you don't want the slits, the glue going through the slit. So. And we just put it on like that, cup it. Do the same thing, but do not glue these together, okay? Just do the same thing. Um, you can see uh, there might not be screw. There is uh, some embossment on here, so that would be the right way. It's gonna go. It's gonna go this way. So this time you're gonna do the inside. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna be on the bottom. But do not join them together because if you join them together first it may not be the exact same size as this so what we're going to do is we're just going to put it on separately I know this because I did it wrong the first time on this one so see it doesn't my edges went nice. It's 
So that was a failure. Okay, so now we're going to glue, it doesn't matter, you're going to glue one side down like this, you're going to match all your, match all your scallops, make sure the doesn't show in the front, okay. And you glue it all down. You can do it the same place or you can just put it anywhere actually. then glue the other side. Yeah. So you're going to find two match that on there. It doesn't matter which two. That's for sizing. And there you go. It falls right in place. Check the front. Check the front. There you go. There is your saucer. Here is your cup, and it's your saucer. I'm not sure if the video tells you to, um, you can glue the saucer on or not, but it's up to you whether you want to, you know, glue it on. But it's nice. And then for my kids, we have a little spoon, a little black spoon. And that's and so that is the end of your project for Marty Art. And here are this is what both of them should look like at the end. They should match too. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and and thank you for getting my kids. And um, I will be having another one for. A Mother's Day purse shortly and you'll be looking for that too. Thank you very much. Have a good day and stay safe, okay? Bye.